Alpha Kenya Limited, Francesca. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In Kenya, where I come from, over 8 million small scale farmers have been making losses in the last two decades. My mother is one of them. I grew up in a small coffee farm with four other siblings, and my mother took us through college with yields from coffee. So in 2009, when she told me she can no longer afford one farm worker, I was very shocked. One of the reasons that the yields are going down at this rate is because of soil degradation. Soil fertility is such a major issue in Kenya, such that the nutrients are no longer available to the crops, and our farmers have not figured out that the soil fertility and the yield, low yields are connected. Now, coffee, Kenyan coffee, for example, has dropped from 120,000 metric tons to below 40,000. Coffee is what the government can document very easily. But the food crops that these farmers rely on, nobody is documenting that a lot. So the farmers are actually sleeping hungry. I am Francisca Muni, the founder of Kofa Kenya Limited, that we process compost from vegetative waste and we use it together with soil conditioners to reverse acidity, increase the moisture retention in soil, and therefore increase yields for the farmers within one season. So most of the farmers who have adopted our products and bought them have managed to actually increase their yields with over 40%. I did not do this one alone because my background is not soil biology. So with our team of experts, some who are soil biologists, senior agronomists, people who have figured out with me what we need to actually increase the yield and supply food in Africa. We teamed up with them back in 2009, all the way till now. The people we started with are still with us. We are 14 of us in the management team and in the sales team, and still reaching many more small-scale farmers in Kenya. So far, we've sold over $25,000 within the last 12 months in Kenya alone. And we've gotten an interest in Tanzania who would also like to have it for their farmers. So why I am here today is because I would like to team up with all of you. Because food in Africa is very, very important. And we have two areas that we have to reach to many, many small scale farmers and make them aware that we exist and that they need the product to use or utilize the farms they are already having and grow food for themselves and for someone else. We also need some machinery to process this compost in bulk in Kenya and outside Kenya when we finish handling Kenya. We are looking for $1.1 billion. And I really are talking to you because I would like us to join together and feed Africa and feed the others who are out there. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. My name is Carlton Amakuloid. I'm curious to know, <laughs> let me start by a statement and you can correct me if you see something different, but small, smallholder farmers find it difficult to invest in inputs because they don't understand the benefits they will get from it. So in your instance, you're talking about soil re restoration and you've got a product that allows that uh, nutrients to hit the soil so that there's an increased yields. How do you overcome the farmer's skepticism in investing in that soil uh, restoration so that they can see their yields? And do you sell to farmers directly or through agri-dealers? First of all, I would like to correct uh, your statement. Yes, please. <laughs> farmers can afford inputs. Actually, they have been buying inputs. Mm -hmm. Kenya is consuming over 500,000 metric tons of chemical fertilizers every year. Small-scale <coughs> farmers are literally producing about 60% of the food in Kenya. So all what we are telling them is that within that budget of theirs, 
we switch a little bit of the chemical fertilizer they have been using with something that can also increase the fertility of soil so that the little fertilizer they put can be absorbed by the crop and they get more yields of higher quality than they already have. So that's one of them. Number two, the farmers are really keen on increasing yields because that was their sole source of income. Even now, most of them, that's what they rely on. And actually because majority of them are older farmers, if they do not crack it again and actually generate profitable businesses, the younger generation are not interested in farming. And we have just had earlier that the huge population of the young people are coming here. They're already here. They're in Africa. Who is going to feed them? So we have to make farming profitable and be able to make it easier so that when they plant, they can see the yields within a season. And that's what we are doing as COFA. When we started the COFA, we thought each and every small scale farmer was our customer. We were very wrong. So we used to go in all trainings and keep talking to them and burn money. And later we discovered, no, there is an exporter who is looking for a quality French beans. Or there is one who is looking for a quality coffee, who is so concerned that the yields or the productivity is suffering. He presented yesterday or the day before in a forum that he's looking for so many farmers to grow sugarcane for his processing unit. So we go to these processors, and then we work with them to train their farmers to increase productivity. That way they don't have to look for many, many more. And us, we have a mass full of farmers whom we train, and there is already a buyer waiting for their produce. That's really good. We, we sell the inputs, we sell the soil conditioners, we sell the compost. No, what I mean is give us an idea of numbers. So what, what margins, you make margins, right? Yeah, we make over 25% is the profit that we have for us and we share it with the investors. We, last year we actually got an angel investor, the first, who believed in us as tiny as we were and we really had lower numbers that we are having. So we, we have a margin of about 25%, but it will actually get better when we automate production and be able to cut the cost of production of the units, therefore there will be a slightly bigger margin on that. Right now we are doing so much on manual processing. Perfect, one last question. I'm the one who is <laughs> earning 8,000 <laughs> sugar cane growers. Soil fertility is only one problem, but uh, most of these growers depend uh, on, uh, on rain. How do we mitigate the other? One of the, the components in our compost yeah. is actually water retention. Mm -hmm. Because the, the weather patterns have changed so much, and at times farmers do plant and there's no longer, if the rain is no longer doing so much, when you increase humus or the organic matter in soil through our compost, the moisture retention is more, way more, that even if the rain goes off, you can actually sustain that crop if it's a short crop, like cash crop can actually mature and you have a harvest. That's what we've done. We also keep talking to the farmers to have it rain water, because you have so much of it even in Kenya, but it's going down to the ocean where it's not really needed. Yes. Thank you very much.